I mean, I, I, I go right the gate. I think I could ask this a lot. I think for me, it's about intention. It's about getting your head, your mindset in the right space. So many people, um, oh, suppose I better get back into dating. At that point, forget it. Mm-hmm. You're not into it. You know, you need to be able to you know, put it out there. You know, put it out there and you shall receive. And I think unless you've got your mindset and your intention set on what you want, who you want, and just really fine-tune it, otherwise you just leave, I think, get yourself wide open to just a lot of noise. You know, too many apps, too many things. I- I'm all for dating apps, but I'm, I'm all about curating them personally. But I think once you've got your intention set and you are like, this is me, this is what I have to offer someone, and I think that's confused. What has someone got to offer me? What have you got to offer them? So for me, dating is all about being in the right headspace. Are you ready to date now? What do you want out of dating? Do you just want to hook up? Do you want a companionship? Do you want love? Do you want marriage? Do you want kids? Know where you're heading. Know where that end goal is. And that will help you determine on how you're going to get there. Preach, we do. Look at this. <laughs> so she's getting excited on that one. <laughs> See sweat rolling down your eyes. Look at this. I'm joking. I didn't put my sweat. Now talks and Paul. Uh, this, this is uh, now I'm going to talk something. This is. Pause and go. I've been at utter crap. No, no. You, you said something so serious, and I'm going to say just you know. We're a clue. The the sexiest <laughs> the sexiest thing in 2022 is not to send a dick pic. Oh yes. <laughs> it, it's to send the receipt of your therapy, right? Therapy is it, ass. and that's not just us guessing. You know, Bumble, Match. Hinge, they've all done extensive surveys and found that if you have a therapist, that is often more sexy than anything else because what you're doing is, is you're showing, you know what? I care about myself, yes. right? This yes. is very important. So therapy, that's the wave right now. Well, for me, it would be somebody that didn't have any interest in the arts. I, I know that sounds a little bit of a fatuous response. Like, so to have well, not, not necessarily. In fact... Profession-wise, I'd like somebody very divergent, but I think that um, there's a kind of soul, there's a kind of empathy that the arts breeds, every pocket of the arts, which makes for the kind of person that I would just crave, you know. Mm-hmm. Red flags. I think for me, it would be about someone that's wanting to change you, ultimately, as a person. Um, you know, I, I'm just about to start doing some interesting work on narcissism, and I think it's I th- having a bit on the receiving end. I mean, I've talked quite openly about it for on an con- emotionally controlling relationship. I think it's very important to um, remember who you are and what you stand for and where your boundaries are. And I think anyone that's pushing your boundaries that are outside your comfort zone, if it feels wrong, it is wrong. Yeah. I think that's it for me. Yeah, I agree with both of those. I think uh, emotionally unstable is a yes. big one. Uh, you know, it's, I think if you're with someone and you want to determine are they the right one, right? It's very important to see how they respond to negativity. Like, how do they respond to a setback? Um, because if they have a hard time responding, it suggests they're emotionally unstable, and it means they can't be a partner for you. So, emotional stability is very important. Yeah. And the top five tips of how to meet someone, places to go. Where would you say? Oh, man. You know what I, online, I guess. The thing I, I would say, and it's been very difficult lately, but I think it's pertinent again, is I would converse as much as you possibly can. Mm. If you have a hundred conversations a day because you're you're being open and warm and benevolent, two are quite likely to be flirtatious, and that's your trampoline to the next step. I, th- I think get out into the world, you know. Like that. I would say um, champion what makes you individual. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll speak for, I don't hate you for saying this, my brother, for example, he's a bit of a country bumpkin, he's a carpenter, he doesn't drink alcohol, so it is absolutely pointless for him to be going on dates in a bar with a girl that wants to go out and get smashed every night on a Friday and Saturday, and yet, hey, <laughs> guess what? That's where he's been looking. Oh, yeah, she's a bit... Absolute nonsense. <laughs> so guess what? I steered him to a particular dating service that was specifically geared up for folks that live in the country, that you know, oh, country same. bumpkins, because then you're meeting people with similar interests. Great interest. Interest. This for is a it. dating yeah, service. It's, that's great. Yeah, it's brilliant, and, and that's the beauty. There is one for everyone, pretty yeah. much. So for my brother, absolutely, young farmers, country folk, country bumpkins, horsey people. There's a dating service for you. Yeah. <laughs> a matchmaker. There you go. Have you got my school on? You're going to be very busy. Are they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the DMs will be flooded. The, the, can, 
can, can I say though, I, I think, I think um, Instagram, like if, if you're on your own, Instagram mm. and having a introduction via Instagram is right now the strongest way, mm. the strongest way. It's a way to have a hundred conversations mm -hmm. and just do it. Yes, that is true. Yes, yes, that's very true. You, utilizing, so yeah, friends and contacts, yeah, Instagram or any other platform because they kind of done some of the hard work for you. You know, if you yes. can, if you can endorse someone because you know them a little bit, you, you jump through a couple of things. And you guys will use that platform when doing it on other people's behalf too, won't right? you? So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Yeah.